Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can insert a record in real-time database using Jetpack Compose library. In the previous video, we have designed this layout and in this video, we will learn from the beginning that how we can make a connection with your real-time database and how we can insert the information like roll number, student name and course in real-time database. So for that, first of all, we have to go to the tool and we have a, this Firebase. You have to click on Firebase Assistant and in the Firebase Assistant, we have to go to the real-time database like this and here get started with real-time database on Kotlin because we are using a Jetpack Compose and Jetpack Compose is only work on Kotlin so click on this now connect to Firebase so it will go to internet and here we have to log in with the Google account so I just log in with my Google account now i need to create a project so if you already have a project you can go to that project also but i have deleted all the previous project now i have to create on create project and here we have a project name real time database jetpack compose and confirm it and just click on continue then enable the analytics on project we can enable or disable as per your suggestion if you require then we can enable otherwise we can disable also then continue then we analytics account if you want so we may have this account and then create project like this you can create a project it will take little bit of time now project is ready continue you see we are on the project and we have to click on connect now connection has been established we have to open a separate tab for opening a console firebase now console firebase we have to click this and we can go to the console of the firebase then already we have this project open this project and then we have a real-time database open this and here we will create the database clicking on this first of all I check this library so I think we done this now I have to add this library also so click on this and accept the changes for the library it will also take some time you see both we have a connected and dependency set to correct both have done if you want to add the bomb library you can add bomb library also it's a new way of connecting firebase if i click this <coughs> it will go to the dependency and i can just import this dependency here like this other dependencies you may also have if you want to take firestore and auth so you may take this also but we taking a bomb dependencies you can take this dependency if you want and go to gradle and here you can add this dependency like this what is the advantage of this advantage is that we may remove this version of the firebase like this and we synchronize it so automatically firebase version will be managed by this bomb library of firebase done repository is also done now we are on assistant so we done all these things library we have connected now we have to create the object of this so for that i just copy and i create the object of this database here firebase and we import the library 
then database also we import the library and here in place of masses i can say it is a students okay and now i need to create this database also so create database and remember here we have to take the place so we may have us next then we have test mode and lock mode so we may have test mode for testing purpose and default securities are there then we have to create database now you see database is here we have the link of database also and here in this database we will add the student as a collection and the information of the value which you are going to install the value which we are going to insert now what i do now i need to add the information so i close it i need to insert so my ref is there for my system now i need to uh, insert a value for that i have a button here insert on click here i go and here i check if if the s number the which i have already uh, your roll number roll number s name and course if i say your roll number dot is not empty and your s name dot is not empty and course dot is not empty if all are not empty then i need to insert the information otherwise i need to display toast dot make text and here i pass context and here i say and that please insert value first then toast dot length short dot show like this the context we have to create so for that i need to create a variable i say well context equal to local context dot current and that we will give here so done now if we have proper information now i need to create or add information so i say my ref dot uh, i say that child and i give here as name dot set value and remember that that value i am going to install i will pass here a data class for that i am going to create a class that is called data class and i give it that is student info data class and in this data class i create variable uh, i say roll number int i say uh, name as name that is string and then i take course string like this like this we have a data a student info as a data class now i create object of this data class so what i say i say that well as info equal to student student info and here i pass roll number dot to int then we have as name then i have course like this and here i pass as info as information and information is store i have to check so i say add on success listener and similar way i need to add 
add on failure listener like this so if there is a success so what i do i can make empty all these value so roll number dot value roll number equal to blank i can do it then i can blank roll number i can blank s name i can blank course like this so so i just blank it and then i display message or toast here that student information we can say record inserted like this so just we blank this information what was already inserted in text box and then we have display information if information is not displayed with we have some error so we are going to uh, display here the exception so i take it dot to string so that would be the exception that we want to display what is the error and like this we just made a code for insert if it is okay then we try to run if everything will be okay then we will have here one information so we see so we have this application running now we try to insert a roll number one then i try to insert a name i say dr weapon devatia then i say course phd then i try to insert and we have a record inserted and we have the blank also and try to see information here if i refresh you see we have a student we have dr weapon as a name and we have the information inside this we may have another record also we may have a id second then i can say mr sachin mark and i say here am tech cs like this and i say insert again we have some error why we have error okay invalid symbol i try to insert a dot so database must contain must not contain dot this okay the problem is for the dot which i inserted i have to check the error also the firebase database must path must not contain dot hash dollar these we cannot insert that is the problem so i run once again that is the mistake which i did so do not insert dot so here i say mr sachin kumar no dot and i say that course is m tech cs without dot i'm just inserting the information right now insert record inserted and now i have another student also sachin and we have this information so you see that we are able to insert a record in real time database here in front of you we have learned how we can insert a record in real time database using jetpack compose library we have some exceptions also so we may also check because these all are the exceptions that we can check before inserting information in your real time database that we should not have some dot or some special symbol that is not acceptable on real time database so we can that we can also check or we can remove those in information from the uh, 
information which we are inserting so that's all uh, in this video uh, in next video we will see how we can display record how we can update and delete record in next videos we will see all these things and i think you learn something from this video if you really learn anything from this video please like share and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video